seems to create a completed a personality profile before starting the activity. And they were given results from other students' uh, personality profiles so they could complete and they could rank whom they would want to work with based on that personality profile. So, my system said, you know, I'll match you up. And they got back one of the three uh, messages. Blindness met or acceptance condition. Students were told that they were the partner's first pick uh, in the activity. The control condition, they got the nine messages saying you can match it up in the activity. You were the partner's last pick based on everyone else getting the activity. You can work together. Um, so, very briefly, uh, the synchronous scaffold in this study documents and the synchronous condition students are doing the seven minute. Uh, certain controversy, but they're in separate classrooms uh, working together on this co editable space in Google Documents uh, where they can actually have work on the essay together, the synthetic essay instead of five. Basically, the scaffold uh, was a custom system that we created uh, for, for schools, for press, body press, and they completed the activity again over six days. You can see them walk in, they're either on the yes side or the no side of the constructive controversy. And then each day they can submit their answer and they can the notify the department that they're ready to keep uh, A number of dependent variables that I, I won't have time to get into. Um, but I, I want to make the point that we're testing four different theories in this, in this study. Theory of computer uh, media communication, social independence theory, social cognitive theory, quantum theory. And to our knowledge, this is the first time that we tested social interdependence, the social interdependence theory and social conflict theory have been tested together in one study. The reason being is that the, the way that communication technologies affect certain conflicts is probably multiple determined. We're going to need multiple uh, theories to, to explain what's going on. Uh, so you can see our sample weight 171 students, all undergrads of educational psychology course, the constructive controversy was germane to what they were talking about that week. So I won't have time to talk about every result, but uh, the effects of volumeness, uh, ask them how much time they spent, how much time they preferred, trying to control a little bit for time on task, which certainly could be a common factor. Uh, but the main effect of the volumes they spent and preferred more time in activity. Um, those are the exceptions here. Had increased cooperative perceptions. And you'll see in the post hoc results, there's one of a number of times where we see no difference between mild rejection and acceptance, suggesting that mild rejection isn't always deleterious of educational opportunity in constructive controversy or uh, operationalized. Um, we'll talk more about that. Um, acceptance increased epistemic regulation. Now that's uh, epistemic regulation or conflict around the, the actual points of the argument. Uh, as opposed to relational uh, conflict, thinking about my competence versus uh, with, with regard to my culinary or re relational conflict. Um, increased intrinsic motivation relatedness and value. Again, we'll see this weird interaction effect from mild rejection. Under asynchronous conditions, they seem they did better on a multiple choice uh, quiz that they took after. Something with mild rejection. Um, uh, yeah. And this is interesting. Uh, we've actually found in a number of our studies of social psychological processes spilling over how students feel about the technology that they're using. Um, and, and the way that they perceive it being useful for their own needs and, and they go about using the technology. Certainly something that we explore further. And for many of the singular issues, generally the same thing that we found in the previous study from the years. So, face to face and synchronous uh, conditions, we see no difference between face to face and synchronous, which is an interesting uh, result in and of itself. We see the cooperative perception increase, the epistemic conflict increases, and this led to increased motivation to achieve, which is what social independence theory would tell us is the mechanism for what social conflict would tell us. Individualistic perceptions increase in relational conflict regulation. Again, as those theories would tell us, we need to be able to find the 
increase, what perception increase, information increase, perception of technology. Um, we see that it buffers, but did not offset those, those decreases that we see in these sort of scenes. And again, this blind distorted, uh, not all of the previous educational outcomes. It's not that we would suggest that using blindness as a pedagogical uh, approach to increasing these measures, but certainly there may be something going on with the action. Thank you. 